Today we'll talk about bull that claims itself to be true but isn't. That is suicide. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit allergic to that. This one's just gonna be a list where we explore the claims and hopefully save you some money, some health, and some heartache. Ow. We need to remember there's an entire spectrum of pseudoscience. And some of it is quite difficult to identify as pseudoscience if you don't have the experience in the field. Young Earth. It's written in a 2000 year old book by a person who did good things. So everything in it must be true, right? Flat Earth. This one is the staple pseudoscience of the internet and the community has members all around the globe. Hollow Earth. If you subscribe to this belief or any of the previous ones, I don't think there's anyone who can save you. I'm sorry. Ancient Inventions. Now we're getting to the more interesting ones. You know how every culture claims that they had advanced technologies in ancient times? Like planes and nuclear weapons and astronauts in the case of ancient Indians? And you know how these claims only appear after these things are conceptualized in modern times? Yeah, that should be enough of a description. Evolution Denial. Evolution is just a theory. Well, Brenda, so is gravity, electromagnetism, and pretty much anything that science has ever come up with. And for the last time, humans did not evolve from apes, they had a common ancestor. And the Pope agrees. So maybe he isn't a real Christian then? Human-induced climate breakdown denial. This one's at par with evolution denial, but instead of religious benefits, this one has political and economic benefits. But that doesn't change the fact that the climate is changing for the worse, humans are responsible for it, and we need to act now. Subscribing leads to losses. Contrary to popular belief, you stand to lose nothing if you just click the subscribe button. So just do the good deed and subscribe already. Astrology. This is the belief that every person born in the same month has the same personality and that objects billions of kilometers away somehow influences you every day. Well, take it from an astrophysicist, there's not only no causation, there's no correlation either. So zip! Parapsychology and friends. This one claims that some humans have superpowers, like reading minds or seeing the future. Some rich folk have offered millions of dollars to anyone who can prove that they have these powers. But parapsychologists are way above the worldly pleasures of money, right? So they don't think it's necessary to prove themselves. And so they just resort to scamming poor people for less money. The New Age Movement Inspired from Hinduism, this movement of the West involves basically writing anything you can come up with, adding a divine spin to it and publishing it to create a bestseller. Humans are somehow special and hold the power to transcend the mortal world, but only if you buy this course for $99. Quantum crap. Let me think of a random object. A banana is good. Now let's add quantum to it and call it a quantum banana. Does that somehow make this thought scientific? Deepak Chopra believes that and has earned tens of millions of dollars scamming non-scientific minds into subscribing to his scientific quantum movement. Alien spotting. Aliens probably exist, maybe intelligent aliens too. But to think that they'll travel thousands of light years to just secretly harvest crops in a circular pattern and then just run away. Maybe we don't have life figured out as well as they do, but I'm pretty sure this is not the purpose of existence. Oh, and why is it that thousands of astronomers who look at the sky every second don't see anything new? Would a high school dropout spots an unidentified object? The answer is in the question itself, I think. Ghost hunting. Let's sit on a chair and make it warm, then whip out an infrared camera and detect that it's warm. And then claim that a ghost is sitting there? It sounds like a fun Discovery Channel series. 5G. From 5G towers killing sparrows to 5G towers brainwashing humans, this is one conspiracy theory we've seen spreading like wildfire. Yes, 5G towers emit radiation, but so does everything else in this universe, including you and me. And signals, they're microwaves and radio waves, which are no different from the radio towers that your grandfather used to listen to. The anti-vaxxers movement. The reason this is not as much of a pseudoscience as climate change denial, even though it's extremely harmful, is that some well-founded skepticism in healthcare is healthy, quite literally. But the claims of nano chips and kill switches are utter rubbish, and anti-vaxxers are putting many, many lives at mortal risk simply by reducing herd immunity. God. This is probably the most widely held belief in this entire list. And I'm not denying that great humans like Jesus or Muhammad or Buddha ever existed. But to believe that they are somehow more than humans is probably an insult to their greatness. And that someone is watching over us is an unfounded and a harmful claim. Numerology. Numbers are beautiful. So they must be able to tell you if your marriage is going to last more than four years, right? Technical analysis. This is the belief that you can predict the movement of markets based on indicators. And there's just so many videos and courses scamming people into believing technical analysis that even those around me question me when I say there's no correlation and show studies to prove it. Reiki or crystal healing? 
Now we start a long list of medical pseudoscience. Now of course these are harmful, but the reason they're all the way here in the list is because they do have some placebo benefits. And if you actually believe in them, you will die a relatively peaceful death than if you went through traditional medicine and died of old age half a century later. Acupressure. This one is good for stress relief if it is done in a particular way. But to believe that pressing some points on your palm will cure a failing liver is probably too good to be true. Homeopathy. This was actually a pretty good practice 300 years back when medicine involved bloodletting and leeching. Because homeopathy does nothing and lets your body heal itself. But that also makes it completely useless today because, well, homeopathy does nothing. Aromatherapy. Candles and essential oils help you relax and make you feel much better. I really enjoy incense sticks as well. Just not for curing cancer. Detox diets. How would you like to go on a diet drinking tasteless juices for a month? For what? Um, reducing your immunity and making you a bit weaker? Detox diets claim to remove toxins from your body. But here's the thing. If there were toxins in your body, you'd be long dead. Also, your kidneys scald and they're feeling quite insulted. Now, detox diets do help reduce your weight, even if in an unhealthy manner. And that is the one thing that keeps it below all of the other medical items in this list. Lie detectors. You might be wondering why people don't use lie detectors more often in courts. Well, that's because they don't work. Lie detectors were able to identify lies less than 60% of the time. And to remind you, you can get 50% just by guessing. Rorschach test. What do you see? A butterfly? An angry elephant eating an alien? A kidnapper in a ballet dress? It doesn't matter because the Rorschach test has shown little to no correlation with any mental illness. Hypnosis. Hypnosis is real to some extent. And many hypnosis performances that you see may not be complete shams. But what is a sham is the use of hypnosis to delve into forgotten memories and even past lives. In those cases, it's just your brain creating false memories from the questions of the hypnotizer. Conversion therapy. Even if you want to see individuals with non-conventional sexual orientation as having an illness, conversion therapies are not known to be effective in curing them out of their gayness. Yes, some individuals do pretend to act straight after a traumatic episode of such a therapy session, but very often it is to avoid another torturous session. And if you call that a win, remember that the same process can be used to make you gay. Feng Shui and Vastu Shastra These are Eastern beliefs for architecture and interior design that are based on pseudoscientific principles of energies and frequencies. The only reason they're all the way down here on the list is because they empirically tend to have some beneficial outcomes. Like, having a window towards the east helps you wake up better. Acupuncture We begin another set of medical pseudosciences. But this section is better because these practices are known to have effects that are better than that of a placebo. Acupuncture, for example, is a great muscle relaxant. Chiropractors I went through a phase of satisfying back cracking online, and some chiropractors are really good at relaxing you and temporarily relieving all pain. The issue is this method never addresses the root cause of the problem, and the problem is bound to resurface again. Ayurveda This is a 5000 year old practice of alternate medicine, and for its time it's remarkably advanced. But other than for common problems like minor wounds, the best it can do is temporarily relieve some symptoms. Meditation Meditation is great for focus, for a calmer mind, for lower instances of mental health problems, and in general, a more healthy lifestyle. I practice it myself. But what it is not is a way to transcend the human body and connect with the cosmos. So that's my list of pseudoscientific crap that I have to deal with pretty much every day. And sure, I might have missed a few things, but I hope to have covered the most common ones. You can always comment ones that I should definitely have added and might have missed. In some other video, I'll go over why many of these seemingly innocuous beliefs are actually extremely harmful and a toolkit to identify them in real time. Till then, I'll see you in the next one.